Hey everybody, it's Shelby here at Shuffles Tap and Musical Theater School at Studio Maestro. And uh, I first want to tell you that today marks the nine month anniversary of when I started posting my tap tutorials. Uh, that doesn't mean I'm going to have it edited and posted by today, but it is being filmed on the 24th, which is nine months since I started posting these. And so thank you guys so much if you've been consistently watching, telling your friends. Um, if you've subscribed, thank you so much. If you haven't, you should subscribe. And um, I'm just really excited uh, how far this has come in the first nine months. So uh, with that being said, today I'm going to work with you guys on double pullbacks. I know this is a very requested step and I do have uh, regular pullback and switching pullback videos up and you should definitely go back to those and learn how to do those and feel confident with those before you attempt the double. Uh, I am a believer in learning how to do your double pullbacks one sound at a time and really making sure you understand which foot is making which sound when before you just try to go for it from a jumping position. So I'm going to teach you the different steps I think you need to go through to get an accurate four sound double pullback every time. So let's get started. Once you know a regular pullback and a switching pullback, we can start to work on our doubles which includes a switching pullback within it. A double pullback makes four sounds. And really all you're doing is taking your two foot pullback and separating the right foot from the left foot. So you end up going right pull, left pull, right land, left land. However, if you're going to need to do it in any sort of slow motion way, or even just to get used to which leg does what, to make sure your body starts to get used to it correctly, we can think of it as a brush from our right foot, a switching pullback from our left to our right foot, landing on our toe, and a step, which is also on our toe. Those are our four sounds, but we need to try to figure out how to even them out. What I like to do, and what I think helps, is to clap a rhythm before I try it with my feet. So I want to sound like this. One and a two in a triplet. One and a two. So, as you'll notice, I need to get really high in the air and really bend my knees. And also, if I don't want a pause after my brush before my pullback, I need to realize that I need to get into plie during my brush so I can go immediately after without pausing. We can try that same thing on the left foot, which actually would be our right pullback. Left brush, right to left switch and pullback. Set. Let's try our four claps in a triplet rhythm, followed by a double pullback on the right foot in that same rhythm. Five, six, seven, eight. Let's try the left. Five, six, seven, eight. Try not to kick out before that first brush. Instead, see if you can do it from a flat foot because it will be much easier later when you're trying to go off of two feet. Not. Once you even that out and can do that from a flat foot, your next step is to see if you're able to try to make your four sounds off of your toes. Just like regular pullbacks, that's a little bit of a different challenge. Instead of being able to push your weight into your heel to make a brush sound from a flat foot, you're actually gonna have to try to leave the ground just a little bit before you make any of your sounds so that it sounds like a brush and not a scrape, even coming from your toes only. A common mistake I see all the time when people are trying to go from a jump from their toes only is they tend to go up and kick forward to go back. Gravity is in the way, so you're making it much harder on yourself to get the four sounds in. So what you really want to do is just go up and back, not forward to go back. Let's try two jumps on our toes and then a double pullback from our toes as well. Five, 
So this has been my double pullback video. I hope you found it helpful. Again, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Let everybody you know know about it, and I will see you in our next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.